Hey, what's up, you guys? So, got a new review for you today. Uh, another one from the Kingpin Wave. Uh, honestly, since I'm still in kind of like full Spider-Man mode, I decided to get something Spider-Man related. Unfortunately, they don't have any of the Far From Home Wave there, but they do have this wave. So, so this is the Marvel Legends Modern Black Cat. And I'll get to like the kind of controversy that happened with this figure. Um, but first, let's take a look at the box. Standard Marvel Legends packaging. There's the open face window. Legends build a figure on top. Uh, so there's the. Oh, come on. Side, you got pictures of Black Cat. In the back, you got a picture of the figure. You got all the figures in the wave. You got the bill of figure. And it has a bio that says Sometimes Spider Man's ally and sometimes his enemy. Felicia Hardy prowls the city as Black Cat. Now, I, actually, we'll get into that later. Uh, Look at her accessories. So she comes with the King Pin Build a Figure right arm, and that comes with his staff. I've seen a lot of people using this with her. You know, kind of like she stole it from him or something. And honestly, I can see that. I mean, just you know, kind of like that. But it's gonna go with my King Pin. Once I get them all built. And then she comes with her whip. Now the controversial thing is for this black cat. Is that it's not a classic black cat. And to be fair. I would have actually preferred that. You know because I do like the classic black cat better. But for me it was kind of like. Hey at least we get a black cat that we can actually afford and find. Uh, so, sorry, some of the joints are tight on here, so while I'm talking, uh, so, I was like, you know what, might as well get him, get this figure, if there's, like, a classic black cat that comes out later, uh, then I'll get it, and if it has, like, a better face or whatever, then we'll get into that later, I'll place that with that, but... Uh, my thing is, as long as I got a black cat, uh, I'm happy, uh, you know, because it is a black cat. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, why does it have to be a modern one? It's like, well, one, they already released the classic one. Uh, and two, I mean, one day, you guys, you know, collectors will probably be asking if they made, like, another classic black cat. They're, they might be asking. Hey, uh, when can we get this version of Black Cat? Uh, it's like, well, at least they get this out of the way, you know. And now I know a lot of people don't like the costume design, and they all they have all said that it's not Hasbro's fault. It is, you know, just the comic design. For me, it doesn't really bother me. I, I don't know why it doesn't bother me. I don't know what bothers them that much. I, I think it's perfectly fine. If anything, I think it looks cool, but now I do believe that this is when she was kind of in like her mob boss type character, and like she she was running this big mob, and then it got destroyed. Uh, one of the Venom comics, I think. Is that one of the Venom comics? I don't remember. Uh, and then. So there was eventually she teamed up with Spider-Man again, and yeah, so. Plus, Black Cat is kind of my favorite Peter Parker interest, uh, especially since like my favorite Spider-Man, which is Spider-Man Noir, uh, his only love interest is really Black Cat. So let's get into the figure. So the paint is done pretty well. Uh, I mean, for the most part, I mean, it's mostly a black figure. Sculpts, well, 
there's not a lot of paint they need on it. Uh, the only thing that I really don't like about this figure, other than the fact that I wish I did have a classic black cat, was is the face. Everything about the face is fine except for the smile. It looks really weird and uncomfortable. So if I do ever get like another black cat and like it has like a better head sculpt or like an alternate head sculpt that looks way better and can fit on here, then I'm going to do that because, you know, I could still take pictures with her like this. I can still have her in like lovey-dovey mode or something, but it's, the head sculpt the only thing that bothers me. So, other than that. She has these fur pieces which are movable, I think for the most part, thought they were, maybe mine are just really tight, I know these top ones can, so, um, and then I wish this had bendy wire, this, this isn't that thin, so they could really put bendy wire on here, and, you know, So, yeah. So let's look at the articulation. This is going to be a shorter review because there's not much with this figure. Her shoulders can go out that far. She has a single jointed elbow that goes a little bit past 90, has a swivel. And she has an up and down movement on both of her hands and a swivel. But they're hard to get to, and mine were pretty tight. Her head can't move up really that much. She can move down, look side to side. Mm, a little bit of tilt. Got a diamond privet that goes that far forward, that far back. Can move side to side. Her leg and her legs can go out that far back not at all got, a, got, a, got an upper thigh swivel sorry I had to break her leg off in order to do that there's an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees and you would think there would be a calf rotation because of this but they didn't ankles can move down that far, move up that far, and she has ankle pivot. Alright, so let's get her into the only figure I can really compare her to while I'm here, and it's in the same wave as her, and that is Black Costume Spider Man. Oh, come on. Stand him up. Um, put her back up. I think these figures look good together, honestly. They both have, like, the contrast of black and white. And plus, it is in the comics that Black Cat likes Spider-Man best when he has the black suit. There was even a time when he was done with the symbiote costume, I think. Uh, and this was, like, the original symbiote costume, not this one. Uh, where he just made, like, a costume version of the symbiote suit. So he could get in a relationship with her. And honestly, these look well together. You know. It's planning on having her like like next to him or maybe next to Spider Man Noir, because that's his love interest is the black cat in his universe. Uh, in the Spider Verse shelf. But I don't know. But But yeah, this this figure is really awesome. If anything, I think I would still get it, but like the reason why I got it today was because like they had a few, and like they also had a few Pumas, so I wasn't too worried about not getting a Puma, so I just got her instead. I wonder if you can like wrap this around him. That would actually look like a cool fight scene. So, 
Uh, I think tomorrow, because my mom will be working and I will be home alone, I might do a toy photography episode with these two. Because uh, I feel like it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, also, happy late 4th of July. I do apologize. Because uh, that Spider-Man Far From Home review that I posted today was actually supposed to be posted, like, the day after 4th of July. And then I didn't get to it today, till today. Because uh, I, I recorded it on the day after 4th of July, but then I didn't post it until today. So... <laughs> But my 4th of July was awesome. I had a lot of fun. I was at my friend's house. I stayed there for a couple nights. So. Uh, I was I was actually tempted to try to get the endgame worthy cap. But I'm like, I'm in full Spider-Man mode. I don't really feel like getting this cap. Plus, I was like... Let's at least get a figure that you're going to take over to your dad's and put in your collection. You know, wait till that figure gets down in price or something. I don't know. Maybe not. So, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I, which tomorrow I am planning to be, like I said, a toy photography for these two. If not, I'll probably post a video where I just like talk about something like maybe talk about Marvel Legends or talk about something that's happening in my life or, or something but I'll see you in the next one guys peace